Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called AAA Authentication with the Local Database. If you're not familiar with AAA authorization, you should take a look at my previous video where I go over the concept. In this scenario, Alice, the networking engineer, not only wants to decide who is able to log into the routers and switches, but she also wishes to limit which commands each person has access to. So Alice gives herself a privilege level of 15, which is the highest level. She will give Bob a privilege level of 7, and give Cindy a privilege level of 1, and Dan a privilege level of 0. The higher the number, the more commands they can execute. She also has the ability to choose which privilege level a command has. In the global configuration mode, the username command allows you to set the privilege level and password for each user. The AAA new model command enables the AAA on the router or switch. The AAA authorization exec command activates the privilege level for the user. In other words, it will give Alice a privilege level of 15, Bob a privilege level of 7, Cindy a privilege level of 1, and Dan a privilege level of 0. The AAA authorization command allows you to set the method level that each level will use in order to check for authorization. The privilege level exec command allows you to set the privilege levels for commands in the user exec mode and the privilege level exec mode. The privilege level configure command allows you to change the privilege levels for commands in the global configuration mode and beyond. We are looking at the terminal window of the test router. Let's configure one of the interfaces with an IP address and then activate the interface. Now let's set up the username, privilege level, and password for all the people who are supposed to have access to the test router. Notice that Alice has a privilege level of 15. Bob has a privilege level of 7, Cindy has a privilege level of 1, and Dan has a privilege level of 0. Now let's activate the AAA. Now let's log in as each user and see which privilege level they have.
you should have quickly noticed that each user is having a privilege level of 1, including Dan, who has a privilege level of 0. This is because we have not activated authentication yet. Normally, we will want to use the AAA authorization command in conjunction with the AAA authentication command. But since we want to focus on what the AAA authorization command does, we will avoid using the authentication command in this lesson. The AAA authorization exec command will activate the privilege level of the user to the level defined for that user in the database. Now let's log in as each user again and let's take a look at the privilege level that they have. Notice that the users now have the privilege level that was assigned for them in the local database. The reason why Dan is unable to run the show privilege level is that the show privilege level is a level 1 command and Dan does not have access to it. We can use the privilege exec command to modify the privilege level of commands inside of the user exec mode and the privilege exec mode. We can use the privilege configure mode to modify the privilege level of commands that are in the global configuration mode and beyond. Using a local database is fine if you only have a few networking devices, but in the next video, we're going to look at a method that gives centralized authentication for companies with large numbers of networking devices. I hope this video has been informative, and I thank you for viewing.